Hello everybody, um, Axis here and today I'm doing my first Cinema 4D slash Photoshop tutorial. I'm going to be doing a pretty simple render today. Um, by the end you should probably have something like this, but minus the chains, chains I mean, because <laughs> um, you don't really need them at all. You don't see them in the finished pro product anyway, see here, because it's just blurred. But we're just going to be working on the Cinema 4D part of it today. Um, and you're going to need two plugins. You're going to need Throwsy, which is a free plugin, which is a which will allow you to like break up the uh, bits at the back. See, like in the uh, Zift Arts one, uh, it has like the little rocky bit behind it. I don't even know what to call it. Um, also, you need the you need Reaper X, which is a kind of plugin where you can have like kind of a rope effect, I guess, around the uh, letters and stuff. That's not really necessary. Uh, but it's not uh, because it's not like free but I guess you could uh, miss out that part if you wanted um, and also I've this is not my Lightroom so I'll probably have a link in the description uh, because I don't know where I got the Lightroom <laughs> it's just a give uh, just called giveaway Lightroom and it's got I know it's got uh, rated designs materials in it and stuff um, but that's basically it so we're going to get started by going into MoGraph and MoText. Uh, 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 Wait for Cinema 4D to load. <laughs> right. Now you're just going to type in your text. So I don't know, I'll do a Zift or something. There we go. And then what you want to do is select your font here. I've got quite a lot so it might take a while. Um, I've got this cool font, or Orion Pax. I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> something like that. And there we go. That's the one that I've used for all of the uh, all of the renders. Um, and that's it. Doesn't come stock. You have to go and download it. Just type in the name. Uh, and then change the horizontal spacing, like that. So it looks a bit better. Um, and then what you're going to do is change the depth to 60. Do kind of a standard setup here. So go into caps, built cap, built cap. And then radius 1, 1. Something like that. And that looks good. And then what you want to do is with the MoTeX selected, go into MoGraph Effector, oh, MoGraph Effector and Random which will make it all weird. We don't want that. So <laughs> go into uh, parameter or uh, whatever and then go into the position and change everything to one. That's kind of how I like it. Or you can mess around with it if you want. And then what you're going to want to do is tick rotation and mess about with rotation until you get a kind of cool so randomized effect here. Don't make something too crazy, but um, definitely do mess around with this until you get something you like. Um, don't know, mess, maybe mess around with the position as well. Just try and get something you like. And then what you're going to want to do after you've got that is you're going to grab the mo text, control C, control V to duplicate it. Then what you want to do is go into here and get your atom array and drag your MoTeX into the atom array which will create this outline around the text. So once you've got that, click on the atom array and then go to sphere radius, change that to about 1 which will change both of them down so you can have a th nice outline which has not got all those weird balls and stuff on it. Or you could even change it to 0.8 or something. That would work too. I'll keep it like that. And then um, also, you're going to need to put some materials on. So, in the description for that Lightroom, grab that and then get like a nice grey. Put that onto the original text, not the outline. And then with the outline selected, 
Well, you don't really need to have it selected. Grab any one of these colors, it doesn't really matter because you're probably going to be using a color correction in Photoshop. So I'm going to just use this blue one here. And that looks nice right now. So then what you're going to want to do is grab your original text, not the outline one, and then keep that selected. Go into plugins and you get Throwsy the plugin that you should have downloaded and then uh, get something like I don't know 70 pieces and then break it and this will just break up every single layer or text uh, layer into pieces of 70 I'll probably just pause this here and then come back when this is done because it um, normally takes longer when I'm recording, so it is. Right, so now that's finished, just grab the window, close it, and then you see here you have all your throwsy pieces. What you're going to want to do is just take them all. You also have two new materials, which you're not going to want to mess with right now, or you don't need to in this tutorial, really. Um, and then what you're going to want to do is select all of these throwsy materials, then click Alt and G, which will create it into a null kind of uh, group layer. You can also do it by right clicking and then it's there, group objects. Uh, that's just a shortcut. So now what you're going to want to do is with all your Thursday layers selected, you're going to go back into MoGraph, Vector and Random. And this will make this giant explosion of uh, uh, your text. Just drag that into the null here. And then what you're going to want to do is go into deformer on the random and then change it to point and that made it really crazy so what you're going to want to do is go into effector and just shrink that down a bit there and then once you've done that what you're going to want to do is you're going to get the z point and drag it backwards you can have bits like kind of sticking out of it if you want, like that, or you can have it completely behind, it doesn't really matter. So you can have it like that. That might work quite well. Okay, now you've got that, just uh, go on and drag your uh, grey layer onto as well, so it matches the text. And now you've got that it's time to go and do the kind of ropes or the reaper x part if you've got that you don't necessarily need to do this but i think it just makes it look really cool <laughs> so once you've got your mo text what you're going to want to do is hold uh, whilst, while it's selected click c and then drop down all of these layers and then select the ones at the bottom the, just the singular letters and then drag them out above the mo, set, mo text and then delete the mo text because you don't need that anymore. Then go into your plugin and then get Reaper X and then what you're going to want to do is duplicate this or copy and paste it however many times or how many letters you have. So I have it four times, so I dupl duplicate it another three. So one, two, three, okay, there. And then what you want to do is drag each individual letter into an individual Reaper X, like so. Uh, oh yeah, see with this X here, which one? This one. Uh, it's kind of just done this part because the text is kind of apart from it. So on that layer selected, click all segments and you should get that. There you go. And now this doesn't look too good, so <laughs> what you're going to want to do is just kind of uh, mess around with this. We'll kind of make a random effect to make it look less uh, standard kind of thing. I don't know, bring it around to about 3 or 2 for the radius and bring the strands down to 1. You could even put it up higher, like 2 or 3, but I, I just like 1 for this. So, um, And then mess about with the coils as well. And do that. Mm. Uh, there we go. Got something like that. 
you can mess around with the distance and that could technically be just a render that you just do now but I kind of like messing around with it making it look um, like not all the same so if you want you can go through each individual uh, Reaper X and change up the settings to make them look unique so they are letters so just mess around with it until you get something you like for each letter. I kind of like less on the I because it's just basically a line, less uh, coils. Okay, now to the T. Yeah, I like that. That's good. So now you've got that, select all the Reaper X's and then do the Alt G again to group it all. So you have all your Reaper X's in one and then you have your threads in the other. And then what you're going to want to do is get that blue again and drag it up onto the, the uh, Reaper X group. And I think that's basically it. Now what you can do is go into your settings and I'm going to change this to 1920 by 1080. It's just a really good resolution for backgrounds and everything. And save it wherever you want. It doesn't really matter so just um, do like uh, something like that. And then zift or whatever your text is. Um, and that should be good, but with this Lightroom, they've got a really awkward camera thing here. So, if you click this little black box thing here, it's going to put you into the, the render view or the camera view that you'll actually see in the render. And with these controls up the top, you can mess about with it to get something you like. So, you can put the camera kind of down low, below the text. And then just make it look good. Get a good camera angle for it. Something like that. And then what you can do is click the middle render button and it will put it into a kind of render queue thing and it will start to render your text. I don't even know if I need to render this because I've already shown you what it's going to look like. So I guess I could like show you at the end or something. But you already know how it looks. It's going to look something like this. Uh, and in the next part, because I'm probably going to split this up into two parts, is going to be the Photoshop part where I'm going to teach you how to do the colour correction, the uh, blurs and everything like uh, in my current background. Um, and I'll probably be releasing it around well probably next week but if I get to five likes on this video I will upload it when I get five likes so I can upload it early for you so it's rendering now so it looks pretty good so anyway thanks for watching guys um I don't know just give me your feedback on my like tutorial I know I'm not that good at all the speaking parts and everything but I tried <laughs> Um, so thanks for watching, remember to give it a like and try and get up to 5 likes so we can release the uh, photoshop part, um, see ya, thanks for watching.